creative experiences shaping early communication, supporting language development, do you think that one's got stairs on it? And we join a childminder in a communication-friendly space on wheels. Chopped his legs in half. Well, if you chopped them in half, then you'd actually get more legs, wouldn't you? You'd stick them all on. At Evesham Nursery School, they're shaping language through creative experiences. Today, some children are choosing pottery. John uses the activity to particularly encourage Luke's language and thinking. You want to make a rocket? OK, so... Um, I want to make a bowl. A bowl? Brilliant. And what are you going to, what are you going to use your bowl for, Sean? Um, for, for some clay. A bunch Hand, of clay? Candles. I can make some handles for it as well. Oh, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? OK. I think we need to get it in the middle, don't we? Are you ready? So hands on the side and then just by very gently, Luke, you have to sort of squeeze it or push it. So right then, Luke, the next bit you need to make a hole. So one thing on the top there. Down it goes. Is that a rocket? Oh, we're making a rocket, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, OK, brilliant. Finger inside, still got to go down, got to make the, the rocket hollow. How big's this rocket going to be, Luke? Big one. A really big one? Yeah. But no. we have to... But, but it'll go in the ceiling. It's in the sea. In the sea? In the bath. A rocket in the bath, so it'll go over, out, up into the sky, and then yeah. down into the sea. Yeah, into there. Into there. Right. Are you ready? No, really big one. And then we just pull it, it. Pull it out a little bit. Very good. That's it now. Now you need to make it into that rocket shape by squeezing it in. Wow, look at that. One big one. A big one? That is, that is a whopper. Make it even bigger. Well, Luke wants to make it even bigger, but when we started off, we only had a small lump of clay, didn't we? Big. One. I think we'd need an even bigger lump of clay to make a really big rocket, wouldn't we? Big rocket in the world. The biggest rocket in the world? <gasps> How much clay would we need for that? Lots, lots, lots. Lots and lots. As big as a house, do you think? Yep. Would it fit on the potter's wheel there? That's, that's my... Uh, I think that might be a problem, might not it? Yeah. A piece I'm of a clay the size one. of a house. My big one. Yeah. Should we stop it there? Because that's about as big as it's oh. going to get, I think. Hey. What do we need to take it off? Um, think. Oh, what was so it? I don't see it. So I don't you... see what it might be. Yeah. The cheese wire, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Let's get a bit of spare clay off of it, like that, Luke. So it does still stay on there. That's it. And then, Luke, did you want to pull it off? Yeah. There you go. If you pull those towards you, I'll hold it down. That's it. And then careful. Shoot it. Brilliant. And then that should to... be able to, to lift off. There we go. Look at that. That is a beautiful slippy slidey rocket. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll put that on there. You're gonna put it oh it's gotta crash, isn't it, into the water, is that right? Yeah. Uh-oh, down it goes. Oh With the medium of clay, I think that because it's so touchy-feely and a sensitive medium, if you like, I think an awful lot of language comes out of that. Just naming what it feels like, obviously, but then building things and talking about how you can... Um, build it together using the wheel. John's very good at bringing out all the, the different words. What could you put in it? <gasps> the environment is very, very important and we try to create a language-rich environment. I'll yeah. put Cheerios in it. <laughs> Cheerios and milk. Creative experience and real experience. I feel it's very, very important that the, the language that we use is in context 
and also we can role model it as well and I think that's a very powerful way of, of um, passing it on to children, making their learning move on. Well, I think you'll be able to carry it over there. So if you... There are so many things that we, we want the children to learn during their year with us, but at the heart of it all is their language development. Recently, Clifton Children's Centre in Hull has improved its support for children whose language and social development is lagging behind expectation for their age. The children in this session have language delay in their Polish. Let's see how Anna in Polish and language specialist Kathy help them to face the challenge of acquiring English. Now we take turns. Okay, taking turns. Tak, będziecie czekać, jak pani powie Alex term, Madzia term, tak? Tak, tak, tak. Tak, uwaga. Okay. Who's in box? Tak. Who is it? Kto jest? Tak. Rock. 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 Well done. Who's this? No. Kto to? Frog. Jaba. Frog. Frog. Jaba. Powiedz frog. Frog. My old teddy. Mój stary misiu. My old teddy's leg came off. Mojemu staremu misiowi odpadła nóżka. Poor old teddy. Biedny misiu. I took him to the teddy doctor. Zabrała misia do pana doktora. She made teddy better. Oj, będzie się czuł lepiej. It's finished. Can we have a teddy look? Już jest misiu z nami. Plaster look. To make Teddy better. Plaster on Teddy's ear. Połóż plasterek. Ear. 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 Wow. Wow. Looking in the box. Będziemy patrzeć do pudełka, tak? Can you find ear? Open. Madzia. Tak? We're going to finish now. We're going to say goodbye. Goodbye, Oscar. Goodbye, Oscar. Goodbye, Oscar. We'll see you again next time. You can see that there would be groups of children within the setting who just need more support in certain areas. Practitioners can look at the different areas of communication. So you are looking at their listening and attention, you're looking at their understanding, speech, sounds and talk, and their social skills. Yeah. Good boy. My job role is to actually support the children who have language delays, and usually some children with social development delays. I took him to the teddy doctor. Zabrała misia do pana doktora. I've just been using different activities just to see which areas of learning the children are at at the minute. Teddy's arm came off. A lot of children get frustrated as well. If it is a, a language difficulty with them, you can see aggression coming out and but so the behavioural side comes out of it as well. It seems a long haul at the beginning, but then we always get something from it at the end. Some parents are coming back to us and saying how excited they are because the children are using the English language. Single words, but it's still, they're using it at home. So we know that it's working. Hello, Madja. Hello, Madja. It's good to see you here. Registered childminder Julie has thought carefully about creating talk-friendly spaces to encourage Riley and Tom's talk. Today, they're taking a bus ride together, full of conversation, questions and opportunities to develop thinking 
and understanding. Did you hear the bell? What does that mean when the bell rings? We need to stop. We need to stop, don't we? That means somebody needs to get off. Yeah, that... Oh, another bell! Did you hear it? Another bell? No. Do you know what this is in the middle of the road? Tell you what it's called? Yeah. Bell. A roundabout. Yeah, we've got our and We've got to go round it, haven't we? Yeah, we've got to go down oh. the other side. Look, the bus is stopping. Why do you think the bus is stopping? Because somebody's getting on. Do you think somebody's getting on the bus? I think you might be right, Tom. A oh, big bus! A big bus? But that one looks like our bus, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's got stairs on it, I think. Do you think that one's got stairs on it? Yeah. Has that one got an upstairs to it? Yeah. yeah. Windows and bottom windows. Well done. It's got windows at the top and it's got windows at the bottom. There's a fire ring. Whoa! I got, I got a fire ring. Have you? Oh, oh there's a the police car. Oh, we've seen a fire engine and now the police car. Wow. Yeah, a big police car. We've seen lots of things, haven't we? Oh, now look at this bus here. Has this bus got an upstairs? No. No, it's just got a downstairs, that one, hasn't it? Yes. Now then, look, there's two buses there. Do you know what we call the little buses? We call those single-deckers. And this one here is called a double-decker because it's got two floors on it. Riley, what numbers are on those buses there? There's a w one and a... Zero and a number four. four and a number X and an X on it as well. Yeah. And that one's going to Birmingham too. The idea of the bus was because we regularly go out to sort of um, the local shops or we'll go down to the park and the boys are very aware of the fact that uh, buses pass us frequently and they're a huge topic of conversation and what actually happens on them and I just thought it was an ideal opportunity to use that. Oh, look, we're going under a bridge now. Yeah. On the bus itself, I really wanted the children to be able to be aware of the environment around them and I wanted them to actually look for key features and try and remember that. You want it to be even bigger than that? Three sessions positively developing communication for language and thinking. Do you think that one's got stairs on it? 